Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. The time to say yes to your dreams and aspirations is here. journalist. Who is a good journalist? A good journalist is somebody who has got a good nose, good eyes, and good spirit to identify the news and mm -hmm. to be able to write it. You can identify the news, see the news passing, and say, ah, fantastic news. But then it has to get published. So eyes and nose, you must be able to smell a fantastic story from afar you are sitting down in a gathering and somebody whispers something is news to you you turn around confirm it stand up because you've got work to do everything around you must whose news you shouldn't miss it confirm um, ascertain balance it and then run with it that's a good journalist. Wow. I like that. Now, from experience, what is the best way for a journalist to write well? To write well, First, what must be for anybody to write? To write well yes. or to write? To write well. To write, write, write. To write well, write. To write write well. Right, well, yes. What must a journalist do? I mean, some journalists. Number one, a good journalist who wants to be a good writer must be a good reader. Mm. Read well. First thing that they accuse us of is that we hardly even read our own paper, our own news. A reporter mm. writes a thing, dumps it with a sub editor. Even in the newspaper the next day, all is concerned about is that is it published so that you can say yes my story is published read I've seen my violin. first thing is to read read well the better reader you are the better writer you become there must mm. be references continuous education and then learn from icons and inspiration there must be people that you want to write like that you want to emulate people that you want to be like so that by the time you also become an authority in your field you can begin to inspire others you know if you're going to and you know how it is people people blame punch and say oh if i go to punch you ask me to to write a test everybody will write a test even if you're coming as a chairman of the editorial board because what is published usually is is not reflective of your first time writing. So if you are coming and you say, I want to join Yes Magazine, okay, how did you get here? Oh, I, I came from the Keja. I had to bypass Todd Mainland Bridge because it's locked down, you know, and I said, can you give me that in 600 words? Make it newsy, make it descriptive. That's how you identify a good writer. Mm -hmm. You know, the sort of a thing that we were asked to do, how did you spend your holiday? When we were young, we thought that they were punishing us. But the teacher was not interested in whether you went to Dubai or you went to Oluma Rock. You can invent it, but write it well. Make it believable. So read, 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 and identify icons that you want to write like them. Wow, thank you very much. Now my next question is this, Eleni. Is it the last one for today? 
<laughs> no, from experience, I mean, you move from a reporter to an editor to the MD of a newspaper. What sells a paper? Disruptions. Yeah. Something unusual. Regular news cannot sell a paper. It will only it will only impress subscribers, those who will buy your paper anyway. But you want to appeal to somebody who does not like your paper or who does not want to spend extra money to buy, you have to create a disruption. Disruption does not mean that you have to go and bomb a place. It is in the sort of news that you go for. Little, little things that others will miss. Identify it, make a big deal out of it. How you write your own news can be disruptive. Do you get? Another yes. house collapsed in Lagos this morning. But who wants to do it? Houses, you know, do collapse every day. But then because another house collapsed today, is it possible that when I'm reading the paper tomorrow, because the news is no longer fresh, I've seen it all over social media, it's on TV, it's on radio. Do I want to know about the person who built the house and what the law says about what will happen to him? Do I not want to know about the survivors, if any? If there are no survivors, who are they? Who are the people that have lost their lives? I'm interested in the human angle aspect of the story building that collapsed. Not to tell me on a banner headline what I've had in the news on radio and TV and on social media 24 hours ago. That's what sells a newspaper mm. or a magazine. Fresh, wow. different, disruptive. Okay. Now, what, what, what are the best ways for journalists to come up with explosive stories? Be different. Be daring. Go for the unusual. Exclusives are part of what we sell papers. Read everything that everybody is doing. Now put yourself in the position of a buyer. What have they missed? What was I looking for in that publication that I didn't find? It is that thing that you didn't find in years that Global Excellence must publish in order to PTS. If Global Excellence or Encomium or Fame publishes with a different headline what Mr. Azua Arinze has published next, it will be out of sympathy that I'll buy it. I want to see what you have missed so that I can see that these people have gone the extra mile to bring something fresh. We don't travel. We don't go the extra mile. We don't dig out. We don't want to offend people. Offend them. The only thing that they will do is that they've got right of reply. You are not maligning them. Truth will offend. But because you don't want to miss the adverts that will come from that quarter, you choose to ignore the fact that they are not treating their staff well. You choose to ignore that they are not practicing what they are preaching so that they don't block your advert. Truth sells. Truth sells. Because truth is a disruption. You now have to decide that if I sell, will I feed? Or do I need more adverts than sales? But if it is journalism, disruption first and foremost. Wow. Now, what are the ingredients of a good interview? What makes an interview interesting? What makes an interview reflecting from your own... Uh, questions, uh, questions that the interviewer is not expecting. Questions that you will not be comfortable with. Questions that you will be reluctant to answer, for which you as the interviewer must insist. Dance around, go somewhere else, but return to the same question. If he refuses to answer, you know that you've got a big disruptive story there. You must come prepared, but you must come unannounced. Never grant an interview or conduct an interview in which they ask you to send, send your questions in advance. They want to keep with you. Wow. 
Well, now, what, what are the mistakes that every journalist must avoid? Don't assume. Don't turn interviews to PR. And don't falsify information. Don't malign. Make it short. Um, know as much as possible about your subject before you go there. Otherwise, you become like, um, there won't be anything fresh. You are just filling pages when you do that. All right. All right. Now, to make it in journalism, what must one do? Stay committed, be trained, be comfortable with the craft, and then, especially when you are at the younger stage, give it your all, devote everything. Once there are distractions, you'll be flying at half mast. But once you wake up, you are eating journalism, you are in the bus, you are sensing stories around you. In a social gathering, you are looking at opportunities. Who can I interview here? What can I bring out of here? Can I review this? Once it is less than that, especially in your first 10 years or 15 in the profession, it's not likely that you go far because your, mm. your, your flag will be flying at half mast. Mm. Commitment will be lacking. Dedication will be lagging. It will be obvious that you only needed a job, but your heart is not there. All right. Well, what is your take on the advent of the social uh, media? And how do you think the traditional media can wriggle out of uh, the lockdown where they currently find themselves? Social media ordinarily should enhance the traditional media. Um, and traditional media cannot be out of social media. They have to complement each other. What has to be controlled or regulated in social media is not the platform. It is not the digital technology. It is the quacks that are pretending to be journalists using it in a manner that is uh, injurious to our profession. Mm. Yes, you can be a citizen journalist, even though there's nothing like that. You are just a commentator mm. on social media. But if you have to carry the tag journalist and you feed information to the public, it has to be verifiable. It has to go through known verification processes of journalism. If it does not, it means that you'll be violating the rules of fair hearing and right of reply. And there must be somebody that will be accountable. You can't say because it's social media, I'm free to say anything that I like. Once what you are saying can destroy other people's reputation and lives, you have to, you have to be liable. So the platform is not the problem. It is the professional. Let's professionalize social media if it is going to be used for journalism. Now, other than culture and newspaper, which is your new baby, what are your other career moves? Oh, I'm into book publishing. I have a small consulting firm. I've always been a consultant um, since 2013 when I left Active Newsroom. And we're hoping and praying, uh, Koro has disturbed a lot, but we're hoping and praying that um, uh, TCN. Uh, the TV component of it, for which we have started the YouTube channel, will be a full-fledged culture television, which is a major, major, major part of what we are trying to achieve. Uh, 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 all right. Uh, are you still in touch with your former boss? That's talking about former governor. Who? Which one? Are you still in touch with that? With, with who? I'm good. I'm good. I'm in touch with you. Mm. Oh, yes, I'm in touch with all my bosses, though. Every of my bosses. <laughs> I don't tell. Uh, a, boss, a boss is a boss forever. You know, and Mr. Ambode is a good man. So why would, I, why would I not be in touch with him? I don't get to see him often. He, you know, he's busy with his family and every other thing. Um, and everybody's keeping safe. 
But uh, yes, it's, it remains my boss. I'll take the final question. What is your advice to budding journalists? Let's uh, round off on that note. What advice have you got for budding journalists, especially those who look up to you or those who admire you? Uh, they, they should not be discouraged. Uh, these are not the best of times uh, for our profession. Um, um, some people might even be wondering, is it worth it, is, is it, worth it to, to even go and study uh, journalism or mass comm or PR at this time? Um, the profession will not disappear. It cannot be wished away. It is just that the form and manner of practice will evolve. A lot more will be done digitally. But the core aspect of the profession will still be there. Banks and corporate institutions will still require the services of PR and media relations experts. The opportunities will remain limitless, but it will be a mojo, a mobile journalist, a journalist that is able to um, diversify even within the profession that will succeed. It is not just about writing it said according to or taking majors around and saying, may we meet you. No, you should be able to do all. Digital awareness and competence is, is unnegotiable. You, you can't negotiate it. It's unnegotiable. And then expand your horizon. Be the writer, the editor, the director, the producer, the publisher. So that if it requires that you will have to downsize, you won't kill the business, but you will reduce your body. Good training, stay focused, and stay committed. Always wow. look for opportunity. Look, look, at, look at what um, uh, Google did. You know, three Nigerian online media organizations got part of the uh, support in dollars for people, yeah. for, for media houses during yeah. the COVID-19. So the opportunities yeah. are always there. In fact, the opportunities outweigh the challenges. Stay in there, hang in there, you know, stay solid, rock solid, and expand your horizon. Opportunities will fall in a place. That's wow. Thank you so very much, Eleni. Thank you so, so much. I also would like to thank all our friends who took part or who participated in tonight's discussion. Thank you very, very much. I wish you all the best in your new endeavors. I pray that uh, the Almighty God will bless the, the, the world. Uh, of your hands. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.